Hello folks, welcome to this bite-sized PD. My name is John Edwards and I'm an innovative education facilitator with the Durham District School Board. We're going to be looking at Google Sites. So what are Google Sites? Well, you can see I have a Google Site that is being displayed on the page for us right now, our DVSB Chromebook orientation site. Google Sites are a part of G Suite along with apps with which you are familiar, including Google Docs, Drive, Sheets, Gmail, and others. Uh, they are websites that one creates they are saved or hosted in the user's Google Drive. And one of the main advantages of Google Sites over other website creation tools is that they are very easy to make. Um, we can see here uh, what some finished products look like with a Google Site. Again, our DDSB Chromebook orientation site. Right? We can see there's a mixture here of text, graphics, embedded videos. Um, here we have a DDSB student iPad site for the primary classroom where we also have buttons. We have a series of uh, sort of navigation uh, navigation menu here with uh, individual pages and sub pages that help a user uh, sort of display the content uh, that they wish. Okay, so this here then is uh, an example of what uh, some Google Sites uh, can look like in terms of where sites can be used within your practice. Well, teachers of course can use uh, sites for their class or course websites. Students can use web uh, Google Sites to demonstrate their learning uh, for assignments or even for portfolios, which I've seen some teachers use sites uh, in a very effective way uh, for students to demonstrate their learning in that way. Administrators can use Google Sites in a variety of ways uh, for organizing their content for staff meetings, committees, and other purposes. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look at how to create a Google Site and some of the, uh, the features uh, and formatting and public, uh, publishing settings that you may wish to consider. So if I'm on my homepage here, the DDSB Educator Campus, I can click on my Google Drive. And in my Google Drive, I have the ability to create a new Google Site. We can see that this is listed under More. right? So there's our Google Sites. So if I create a Google, Google Site here, it's going to reside in this portion of my Google Drive. I can, of course, move it to another location in my Drive, in my drive through dragging and dropping it. If I click Google Sites here, My site has now been created. Now I want to uh, sort of start adding content and formatting the site. First, I can title my site. I'm going to call this demonstration site. Okay. There's the title of my site. Uh, this is my page title. So this is the main page. I'm going to call this demonstration site. With that, I can also sort of change the, uh, the formatting. Here, um, importantly, what I can do is you can see the, the header type of this. Uh, I can make this a little bit different. I can make this title only. I can also make this a cover or a large banner. To see what that actually means, it's always important to consider how you're able to preview what your site is going to look like um, before you make the changes and have it published. If I click preview here, this is what my site will look like. You can see there's not much there other than uh, this background and the demonstration site text. Right? And I can sort of look to see what that would, how that would appear on other devices. Right? So it looks pretty good on a large screen. You can see on a tablet here, I may want to change how that text gets displayed so it doesn't do that. Right? So here it is on a large screen. Um, now, what I can do here is I can change this header type to a large banner. Right? So there's a large banner. If I click the preview, you can see that this landing page, it's going to be just the background and that text itself. Okay, so that might be uh, what I would like. And then, of course, I could have uh, up at the, the top here uh, listed horizontally or listed vertically on the left. I could have my individual pages and sub pages there. Okay, I'm just going to set this back to under the header type. I'm going to put this as a, uh, as a banner, which is the sort of default here, right? So here we can see that we have our, 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 our title and we have as well a picture and a place for some additional content listed below here, right? There's our default. Now, um, before we get sort of too far into the site, you're probably wondering about, well, who can view the site? Who else can work on this site with me? How does it get published? That kind of thing. Uh, under the share with others option here, again, I can just sort of highlight over any of these. It tells me what I've done, right? Or what these things do. So I can undo my last action. I can also share this with others. So here I can invite a particular user. So I could type in another BDSP user and I could share that with that user for editing purposes, right? Um, I can also 
when I'm ready to publish my site, I can click, of course, publish. I can change the, the address to something uh, different than this, right? So if I wanted to, as long as it's sort of a unique URL, I can do that. Who can view my site right now? Uh, if I publish this, anybody in the Durham District School Board with the URL can view that site. I can also change that under manage, and I could make this here. Anyone on the, on the web can find and view the published version if that's something I'm so inclined to do. So if I want this to be available for people outside of the DDSB, that's something I can decide on, and I can change that at any time. And so there's sort of the, uh, the publishing settings, which when I'm ready for people to view my site, that's something I might wish to do. Okay. Now, um, with our title here, you can see that uh, there's the option of having an image. So I can upload an existing image that I have, right? So let's suppose I have this image that I wanted to put in there. I can sort of have that as my image, right? So I can easily add images to a site. Um, we recommend having a, the, the largest image really that you can find. So we're looking at probably about a, you know, a 2560 by 1440, something very large like that. Um, to make sure that it displays correctly. And again, you can sort of always preview that uh, to see what what that would look like, right? So that's what your, look, your, your site would look like in published mode. So something certainly good to do. You can find the right uh, sort of size uh, that would suit your, your site. Uh, I can also select an image. So there are some existing ones in the gallery, right? So I can select this image here um, and you can see what that would look like, right? I can also change this to I could search for something, so I could search and I could put in, say, cat, and I could say that's what I want for my background, right? So I can easily sort of do that in terms of selecting uh, what I would like that image to be, right? So that's um, sort of how the, the title works uh, for a site and our sort of publication settings. You can see that the site saves automatically, so I don't need to sort of worry about trying to save it. As I uh, go through the individual changes, the site does, in fact, get saved. Um, here we can see that there are uh, some options for insert, uh, inserting text boxes, images, amongst other things. If I select a text box, I would put uh, my text here, so whatever it is that I'm looking to have for that text. I can change this as well by selecting what I want that background to be, so I could have this on an emphasis, right, to make that look a little bit different. I could even change the size of the text here. I could have this as a title. Right? If I'm looking to have some larger text there. And I can insert a new text box here. So my new text. And with that, I could change that to perhaps a subheading. Right? And the background, maybe I wish to make that emphasis too. Right? So I can easily sort of add text in that way. And if I go to preview, I can see what, uh, what my site would look like. Right? So that's what I have at this point in time. So pretty easy at this point in terms of some of the editing functions. Um, if I wanted to insert uh, an image, that's easy to do. I can select images. I may have my own image of something I want to insert. So I could certainly like upload my DDSB image, for example. Well, there it is. And I can you know, sort of change the size of that, right? So I can easily change the size and formatting of that. I could even sort of uh, click on a URL. So if I wanted to put... Uh, uh, sb.ca. I wanted that to be my link. I can easily insert that link. So when somebody clicked on that image, it would take them to that address, right? So you can do that for any of your text or images, okay? If I wanted to undo things, I can easily undo those actions if I wanted to undo inserting that image, right? So that's something I can do. I can move this around. Right? So I can move this uh, simply by dragging it. Right? Now, what if I want to have uh, some additional uh, sort of pages here? Right? Uh, we can see that there's the option here of under pages. I can add a new page. So I'm going to call this uh, my new page. Right? So my new page is going to appear. Under a page, you can also have existing pages. Right? So here, if I click on preview, You'll see that I have, this is my home, and I click on my new page. It's going to take me to a new page as well, which right now doesn't have any content on it. Okay. So I can do that if I wanted to have, um, under my new page, I can add a sub page. So this is here kind of like my, my sub page, right? Some additional options here if I wanted a custom path for that. 
So there's my subpage. You can see how that resides under my new page. And I can put, again, sort of a new page here, my newest page. And there it is, right? So I have a series of pages here. If uh, I click on the preview again, you can see here that I have my newest page, and then I have a my new page with a subpage. So here I have a series of different kind of uh, pages with different content on them. Okay, so it doesn't have to be simply just on one page itself. Um, over here, quickly on the left uh, for navigation settings, perhaps I want this to be a side navigation, right? So if I click that for side navigation, they would navigate to the individual pages here on the side. That might be something that you'd want to do, right? Or I can simply revert that back to the top navigation here, right? So you have sort of some options here in terms of how you would like that uh, to work. Um, let's see. So themes. Themes, uh, we can see that uh, you can certainly change what that looks like. I can switch this to impression. So my theme looks a little bit different, right? Or level, vision. You got lots of different uh, themes to sort of suit your individual purposes, right? In terms of how you want that to look. Um, there's also sort of the, the font style that you can change as well. You can change uh, some of the colors as well, right? So lots of different options for how you want your site to look uh, from that perspective. I'm going to go on to one of my pages here. So if I go to uh, my new page, we can see um, here it, uh, it adopts my title, my new page here. I can certainly change that title if I want. Um, I can certainly change that to say just new page. There's new page, right? I could also hear where the actual title that will display up here, my new page. I can also change uh, that as well. So if I click under properties here, I can change that to my new page. Okay. Uh, I can also, of course, change the header type as we've seen, right? To banner, large page, title only. Now, in terms of some of the things I can insert here, um, layouts is probably where we want to go. Uh, so under layouts, uh, I can insert um, a layout that looks like this, perhaps. So here, the idea is I would have text. I would have more text. Okay. And then here, I could have individual pictures. So I can click here and I could have select an image, which I can do that again from images that I have, or I could insert uh, additional images that go with the content of my site. Right, select an image, search at, right, I already got that one. Let's go with this one, okay. So now um, I have inserted that, and if I look under preview, I can sort of see if that looks the way I want to. I can see that this image here is not how I would like that to be. So I can easily sort of undo that if I wanted to, right? And I can also, of course, revert my changes. Um, I can, so there's lots of sort of options that I can do here to sort of make that uh, text the way I want that to be. Here, what I'm gonna do is, however, I'm just gonna replace that image. Right, so I'm going to select an image that's going to work hopefully better for me. And I like that one. Okay, so that looks a little bit better for me. And of course, I can resize um, the images here as well. And now if I go under preview, I have a site that, uh, a page that looks a little bit better. So here I am on my home page. All right, with my text here. And when I go to my new page here, we can see there's additional content. Of course, I can link out to different URLs here. Uh, that's something that I want to do. Um, so I'm going to go out of the preview here. Uh, let's go to one of my other pages. Uh, so I have here my newest page. We see here I don't have um, any content here on this page. But um, what I could do is I could embed uh, certainly uh, some different uh, content here. So one of the things I may want to do on my newest page is under insert, I could uh, select a, um, an embed code. So if I want to embed, for example, my Twitter feed. So here's how that might work. So if I go to Twitter, right, so here is the DDSB um, Innovative Education uh, channel, okay? And so here, if this is my channel, um, what I could do here, uh, 
so let's suppose this DDSB Innovative Education Libraries. Uh, so I'm going to copy that uh, that URL. Uh, so let's suppose that this is the one that I want to embed on my uh, channel. What I can do here is um, uh, is I can grab the embed code for this. Now Twitter has a different sort of way of doing this than it had in the past. The way you would do that now is I go to um, go to publish.twitter.com. Right? So I've grabbed that URL for DSB libraries. I can now sort of paste that in there. And I can have, I want to have an embedded timeline. I'll select that. And here's my sort of embed code here that auto gets generated. I've now copied that to my clipboard. Right? So if I go in here and I select the embed code, I am going to select that that is what I want to embed. I will now have that Twitter feed that gets embedded on my page, right? So there is my embed code, and I can sort of change that size, right? So now, if I do a preview, you can see what that will look like on my page. Once this refreshes, there it is, my newest page. You can see that I have my, uh, my tweets here, OK? So that's the DDSB library feed. So it's pretty easy to sort of embed that. You can embed really anything else uh, as well. So you can see under the options of embed, I can embed a URL, right? Or an embed code uh, from Twitter and other sorts of things that you may wish to do. Uh, I can also insert uh, from Google Drive. If I click on from Drive, there may be some content in here that I wish to embed. Uh, so let's see if I have, for example, a, um, I have here, okay, so here's a slideshow inquiring about the Olympics. I can insert that in here as well. So that slideshow here has been inserted. If I want to preview that, you can see that that is now on my page, right? And so a user can sort of navigate through those pages, right? So I can easily sort of insert that and I can um, sort of exit preview here if I want to do that. And I can, of course, sort of resize that as well. I can sort of change the background color. And as well, I can always, of course, change what the, uh, what the themes look like. Uh, I'm going to go back to one of my other pages here. I'm going to go to my sub page, on which I don't have anything right now. Perhaps on the sub page, uh, I wish to insert uh, some other options here. So we have here, we've seen how there's different layouts here. You can sort of choose the layout that works best for you. We've looked at um, the, the ability to insert um, sort of text and, and, and images. You could also put a button. So if I select a button here, I can call this um, edsb.ca, right? So let's suppose that's what I want. And I could easily sort of put a link to the edsb.ca so I can sort of grab that link and I could sort of insert that. I'm just going to actually just make it DDSB. Insert, and now I have a button, OK? So with that individual button that I have here, we can see what that looks like on preview. So this is sort of a good way of kind of navigating to different locations, right? So a button here can work very well. I click on that, and it's going to redirect me to that URL. Right? So buttons are one of the new things that you have uh, as an option within the site. I have, uh, if I go back to uh, some of my pages here, if I go to my newest page where I have some content here, I can also insert uh, a divider. Right? So here I can put sort of a divider if I wanted to sort of separate some of this content here. Right? So I can sort of do that with a divider. Right? So that kind of under preview, you can see how that kind of looks, makes it look a little bit um, uh, perhaps more suited to uh, separating these two sections here. I always like the idea of uh, sort of previewing what things look like. Um, let's see. There's also, if I'm going to go back to one of my pages here, my sub page, we're going to look at uh, some of the other um, options for things that you can insert. Uh, I could insert a map. Right? So here, under a map, I could enter a location, um, Durham District School Board. that Durham District School Board. Okay. So here is the Durham District School Board. So we've seen that. I'm going to select that. 
And now we can see that I have inserted that location here on my um, on my site, right? So there it is, and I can actually sort of navigate on here, right? So that's kind of a helpful thing here. You even got this sort of satellite imagery, which is very cool if that's something that you're looking to do, and I can sort of zoom in and out. Great new feature that you can put on your site. Um, what else? Uh, you can also insert, if you have a calendar, right? So if I want to insert a calendar, I'm going to select calendar. So any of my sort of existing calendars that I have, both for my Google Classroom or individual ones that I've created. So I could, for example, if I go here to um, Google Calendars, let's go here, if I'm going to go into Google Calendar, I could easily uh, sort of create a, um, a specific calendar, right? So here's, these are my calendars here, um, but I could also um, create a calendar uh, here, add a new calendar under add calendar. So I could create a new calendar that I want to be sort of specific for sharing information and resources with my audience. Once that calendar gets created in here, again, that's, uh, um, I would click on that through add a calendar over here. I could add that calendar pretty easily to my site. So here, if I go back to my site, um, I'll just grab an existing one. I could put um, sort of this uh, Ajax High School. I could insert that calendar, and that calendar then appears on the site. Okay. Uh, so I can, of course, also sort of move things around pretty nicely here, right? And under um, the layouts, I can sort of like attach a layout. So if I wanted to attach this layout here, I could hopefully sort of organize things in a way that works best for me. And then I could insert sort of a new um, picture or item here. Perhaps I wanted to insert from YouTube, right? I could in, uh, do a video search here uh, on cats and I could put a funny cats. I could have uh, a video as well here. So we can see that now on my preview, we have all those individual sections here. So we have our map, we have our uh, we have our calendar, right? Which hopefully would have content in there, and we'd also have a YouTube video, right? And so I'm organizing that. We have my button, I have my background. Um, it's lots of different things here on our view. As far as other things that uh, we might want to do um, under insert, um, we could of course also put a you can see there's direct links to uh, forms, charts, sheets, slides. I could put under a form, I could put a very specific Google form on here. So if I have here a student Gmail survey, um, that's my form. I could put that that actual survey in here, right? Right. So I could have a, a survey that, uh, that uh, resides within that as well. And again, I can sort of undo those actions. So any of my forms that I have that I'm looking to collect information, I can easily do that. Um, and there's a final uh, couple of things here. Um, if I click under these three sort of vertical dots here, uh, there is the ability to duplicate the site. So I can, if I create a nice site and I wanted to duplicate that for another semester, for example, or for another application, I can create that duplicate site and then make the individual changes. Uh, I can add a favicon, which is essentially see right here up with the site. You can see there's a little image. Here we have a DDSB Ignite Learning favicon that's been uploaded. Um, obviously, Google Drive has its own, as does Twitter and Google uh, Calendar. I can easily add my own favicon, which is really just a 16 by 16 uh, PNG file, right? So you could do that if that's something you wanted to do. Um, I can add a logo that goes with the site. So instead of this sort of logo here, um, I could add uh, my own if that's something that, uh, that I wanted to do as well. So if I click Add a Logo, um, a logo is... Uh, is what I use is basically essentially just my Bitmoji uh, logo. Um, so you're looking at really about sort of 398 by 398 uh, as far as the size. And with that logo, I can sort of upload uh, something that I have that uh, hopefully is of the right size. So I think I have here, right? So I've added this logo to my site. Right, so there it is. Background, sure, it looks good. Um, so I have now added that, that logo to my site, which is going to appear there. Uh, just another way of sort of personalizing the site. 
uh, just a couple of last minute things. Um, under more, you can see site analytics, not something we have access to um, under our uh, DDSB domain. Um, and finally, there's also a take a tour, which is really cool, which will sort of walk you through um, most of a lot of stuff that I'm talking about, right, in terms of how you can add content uh, and how you can do other sort of things, move things around within Google Sites and the like. Again, when I'm ready, um, I can just simply click on publish and I can make the decision to publish the site with the address I want and the view permissions that I would like. So, um, so this again is sort of a quick tour of how to use uh, Google Sites. If you have any questions, you can um, contact me. It's jonathan.edwards at dbsb.ca or you can email the general inbox of the Innovative Education Department. That's innovative.education at dbsb.ca. Hope you enjoyed this bite-sized PD on Google Sites. Thank you very much.